Hi guys, Adam here. I'm trying out an experiment. Since I'm unlisting all of my live streams the day after I record them and putting them on Patreon, I don't wanna make them completely unavailable to everyone, so I'm gonna take some short clips of the live stream, and if you guys like this, uh, put it down in the comments and I'll keep doing this. If you guys don't like it and you just don't care about my live streams, it's cool, and I, I won't make a highlight video. So let me know in the comments what you think. I went out to O'Brien's Pub in District 1, this is uh, Friday night. The entire live stream's two hours long. Also, what's really neat about doing this is since it's a shorter clip, I can add captions to it. So those of you that can't understand my really rapid speaking English and can't hear me very well on the live streams, now you'll be able to read the captions and translate it in your native language. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoy. When are you trimming the beard? I guess when it starts looking a little bit more homeless. I'm staying on the borderline homeless insane. I was going for homeless insane, but now I'm gonna get just borderline. I was just talking about that video, and apparently I noticed there was a lot of views on that video that were uh, unexplained, coming from external sources and unknown traffic, and that's very unusual. About 40% of my views, so I contacted Google, and hopefully they'll remove those views for me, because it's a uh, botnet. And when I contacted at Google, they said they were experiencing uh, disruptions across their entire system on YouTube, so maybe I just got caught up in any DOS. And my video was a 500 or a 5,000 view victim. But at 20, 25 hours a week, it depends on your degree. If you have uh, no degree, expect to be making $18 an hour or so. If you have a degree, you're probably gonna make about $22 an hour. So I think you can do the math on that one. Uh, dude, over 3,000 views of you buying underwear. I know, it's crazy. Socks and underwear, socks and jocks. But this summer I'm going to spend it traveling around Vietnam on my bike. If I have to go really far, maybe I'll take a plane. I kind of want to see Hanoi. Since I'm going to have a few months off of work, I'm going to spend the whole time traveling and vlogging the entire thing. Normally I'm too tired to even mentally function on a Friday. Usually at this time I'm just mentally dead, kind of drooling down my beard a little bit. Hopefully I'm doing a little better on Discord now. We had to uh, reset the Discord, and then during that process, everyone got thrown out. It was just part of the reset process. It hurt me on my side too, because I lost a little bit of server, server boost. That's okay, we'll get you guys back in. We just got to verify. We want to make sure you guys follow the rules. We want a clean, happy environment. That Just follow the rules. <laughs> the chat there was getting out of hand. We had to reset it. That's why I came here. I came here to get a Guinness, and I saw the price and got scared. What's the point of coming to an Irish pub and not having a Just a little bit of Facebook, guys. Just a little bit of Facebook. Always be a good boy. Don't ever play with guns. But I shot a man in Reno. Actually, you're right, too, because in Vietnam, they actually use the same writing system as the Chinese. Obviously, different characters. During the French colonial era, they wanted to increase literacy rates, so they changed the alphabet here in Vietnam to the Roman alphabet so people would be more literate. And that's what actually makes the language easier for us because I can read Vietnamese. When I started spending a lot more time with my girlfriend, she didn't know how to say a lot of, it's just vocab, like vocabulary, and she would say it in Vietnamese. And that was actually very beneficial for me because now I have a very, pretty, no, not very good, but pretty good Vietnamese vocabulary for little things. You know, it's the stuff she didn't know how to say. And like, for example, this is called a, uh, a row, a beer, this is an owl, a shirt, you know, stuff she didn't know how to say. My favorite beer, I just like, I like basic chicken and rice. No, you like cum tam too. Cum tam, yeah, cum chicken tam. and rice, chicken and broken rice. Ever tried crocodile? I have not tried crocodile. Or any other weird foods? Uh, it's popular here to eat snake. I kind of want to do that. Yeah, I'm not going to try dog. I, no offense to you guys if you guys do like dog, but... It's just like the thought that that could be somebody's family member kind of turns me off. You'll see a dog's head, and this might be kind of graphic, but yeah, because they they believe that if you make the dog in extreme pain and get their adrenaline going before you kill them, that's when the meat tastes the best. So they uh, torture the dog in a way, and then they kill it. So then they leave the heads there on the side of the road in a little bucket, and their teeth are in a snarl. I don't know. I might say no to that. Turtle blood, man, that's kind of gross. Any kind of blood's kind of gross. Just to drink it? I mean, if it's in the meat, like in a good steak or something, that's different. But just to drink it? I haven't been too much into first-person shooters since I've been in Asia because some of the kill cams are very suspect. 
what does your girlfriend do? She is a professional cook, a professional uh, clothes cleaner, a professional companion, a professional professional emotional balancer. She's a professional best friend. I don't make very much money at all. But I stay busy. If I'm busy, then I'm not spending money. The stuff I wish I had, I wish I had a nice PC. My PC is 12 years old. I got a five-year-old GPU, so at least I can play games on it. I wish I had a bigger TV that was in 4K. There's a lot of things I wish I had, and I probably won't get anytime soon, but it's okay. You know, you can poop in one hand and wish in the other and see which one fills up quicker. I just can't afford it. I spent a lot of money on my phone so I can continue my YouTube career. That's why you guys can see in my beautiful, wrinkly, red, freckled face so clearly on the front of my camera because I got a good phone. You know what's funny is Vietnamese women, they go out of their way to stay white. In America, American women go out of their way to get brown. It's such a contrast. There's so many cultural differences that are the polar opposite of Western culture. And that's just one example of that. Uh, we had a lot of rain earlier today, actually. Yeah, it's, it's, we're coming up on the rainy season. Yeah, rainy season is coming, which means the tourist season is is not here. But I think people will come anyway just because Vietnam has been closed for so long. You think December is good time to visit Saigon weather-wise for a month? Yep, it's actually the perfect time to visit. Hey Adam, do you think people change when they get a little bit of fame? Just curious. I don't know. I guess ask me when I get some fame. Nobody knows who I am now. But there's a lot of YouTubers that got a lot of fame, like Fook Maps for one of them, and he's a very humble guy. He still he talked to me on Yalo a couple of months ago when I was trying to connect my AdSense that I was going through troubles with uh, monetization. So Fook Maps is very humble and he's very helpful. There's a lot very friendly. There's other YouTubers that I reached out to and asked for help and advice and they wouldn't give me the time of day. And Fukmap, who has 500k subscribers, was the only guy who talked to me and he, he gave me, he wrote me uh, books on Yellow telling me about his life and his struggles and his experiences with YouTube. And I was nobody. So fame didn't change him at all. I will never be famous, I don't think. I'm just a, just a small country boy that moved to Saigon and sharing his life with you guys. It's very common to uh, meet people on online dating sites. It's so much easier than the going out and actually having to mingle with people. You can just sit at home with a computer in your underwear and talk to people. You don't have to have your hair combed. You don't have to have your beard shaved. You don't have to have your teeth brushed and you can talk to anybody you want. Uh, online dating is great. Because when I went in for an eye exam, it, you can watch in one of my videos. I make the video pretty much showed all of it. That was the entirety of my eye exam. And the last time I had an eye exam, I had to, they put drops in my eyes and they sprayed air into my eyes and I did all kinds of crazy stuff, changing different slides and doing whatnot. But here they did it so quickly. I just looked into a little digital machine and focused on a little farmhouse and they had, they had all the information they needed just for me doing that and reading uh, the numbers and letters off the wall about 30 meters ahead of me. And from there, they knew exactly what my prescription was. And I worked and my prescription improved cost me two and a half million for these glasses and they're blue light reflecting lenses so about a hundred bucks in america for a hundred dollars you would you would get a, a crappy pair of glasses with horrible lenses and i would have already broken that would be kind of rough my my dream is to get him to come out here maybe in about five to ten years he's he's in such good shape right now he's he's in great health he gets around quite well he's quite strong he's quite agile i, I hope to be as strong and as mobile as he is when i'm 69 years old but 10 years from now, if he's not doing so well, I'm gonna force him to move out here with me so he can live in my house and hopefully I'm doing well enough to take care of him. I don't detect any kind of animosity towards Americans from Vietnamese people at all. It's like the war never happened. And for me, the war never happened because I wasn't even alive at the time. Where are you guys from? Is there anybody here actually from Saigon? YouTube Analytics says 12% of my viewers come from Vietnam. I wonder if you guys are actually Vietnamese people or other foreigners like me just watching another foreigner like them talk about their, their life like them. Nobody hits on me, look at me. And nobody hits on her because they're so scared of me. It's like germs. When germs see me, they see me and they run away. That's why I never get sick. When guys see her and are interested in her, they see me and they run away too. So it's just not an issue we do. I think, I don't know. I, don't, I think they like Americans, French. English, I think they all they like them all equally. They're just interested in foreigners. 
just like I as a foreigner is interested in them, I guess. I don't know. Maybe the American culture, I, I kind of have to retract that because American culture doesn't like foreigners. So I don't know, but here in Vietnam, if you're a foreigner, they like it. I think they're just very curious. It's a small, small country and to have so many tourists and people from all over the world wanting to come here and, and see their culture and see their historical sites. And I think they just like us for that. Nobody comes to America to see our culture or our historical sites. You know, if you have a lot of money, maybe you'll come to America to see the Grand Canyon or the Statue of Liberty or something like that. But most people come into America to, for financial gain. Unlike people coming to Vietnam where they want to see a beautiful country and, and explore a very historic culture. But if you're interested in the, in the culture and having an adventure and seeing new things. and I mean, the other day I was riding my motorbike and there was a foreigner. Even I'm a foreigner, but there was another foreigner just videotaping with her phone the, the motorbike traffic. And that was just absolutely fascinating to her. And to me, that's just normal now. But I understand that fascination of moving somewhere new, and that's what I needed, and that's why I came to Vietnam. I just needed that childlike fascination again. And I know that's what she was feeling as she held her cell phone there and was watching all the motorbikes go by. Naturally, I'm naturally good at breathing. I mean, I, that, comes with, that comes pretty naturally to me. I seem to be okay at it. Yeah, I'm getting the eyes, guys. They want me to leave. I guess they're closing. I don't know what time it is. Okay, guys, I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm gonna show you guys O'Brien's. And then I'm gonna kill the stream. So a couple of minutes and counting, guys. We're all 27 of you. Oh, we gotta pay bill. So a $14 bill. So this is O'Brien's pub. It was actually pretty crowded in there when I first came in. Thank you. Okay, guys.